David Barber, and I'm the chef owner of Three Square Grill and Piccolopolis here in Portland, Oregon. And I'm here at Nostrana with my friend Kathy Wims, and we're working on a recipe. What do we got? This is a dish that I learned from Marcella Hazan. It's a very traditional um, Italian dish, potato gnocchi, mm -hmm. and with her special tomato sauce that we call it Marcella Hazan's tomato butter sauce. Wow. So we're going to start with San Marzano tomatoes. This sauce is so easy, Dave. You're going to be so excited about this. It looks like we this. have the four piece ingredients. Of cake. Yeah, four ingredients. That seems that was a theme with the panna cotta earlier. So these are San Marzano tomatoes. So we're going to crush these into the pan. I always use my hands. And if you want to help me, you can throw in that onion. There's a whole I'm onion cut that's cut in half. No, we're just going to leave it whole. Okay, See, I like told that. you this is really easy. Right. And then that stick of butter can go in there. Like that. Roll that in there. And, and salt, yeah, salt. why don't you just season to taste. Yeah, that's good. And then we're going to put that on the stove. So this just goes on the stove. And there's a real simple way of knowing when it's done. And that is that the butter will separate yeah. from the okay. tomatoes. And you will know that you've like concentrated the tomatoes enough that you've gotten the water out of the tomatoes because you've broken the emulsion right, that right. happens. Okay, well we have our not complicated at all tomato sauce working, San Marzano tomato sauce, and we're ready to make the potato gnocchi. What's next? So we have boiled potatoes okay. and their skins. You want to use like a, um, a Yukon Gold or some kind of boiling potato. You don't use russets. And you want to, you want to use a new potato or an old? You like, never want to use a new potato. So they, um, for a storage or a Yeah, it means potato. a stored potato is what you need. You're going to peel these, and it's important to make milky while the potatoes are hot. So okay. it's a little bit of a hot potato game here. So we're going to put the potatoes through the ricer. So flour. Mm -hmm. It's suggested a pound and a half of potatoes take a pound and a half of flour. The more flour you add, the heavier they'll be. Right. I try and use as little flour as I possibly can. So just enough so it's, it yeah, comes to together get to your together. liking. Yeah. yeah. And this is something obviously, you know, you learn with practice. Right. So I'm just kind of fluffing up the potatoes. And now I'm going to start kneading. Okay, well I think that is pretty good there. And I'm That's going beautiful. to wash my hands and then we'll test one. Okay, so we're keeping this under wraps, mm -hmm. keeping it warm, covered with a little kitchen towel. We're going to take little pieces of it off and cut them. And these are going to be samples. So we're going to do a tester first. This is a gnocchi paddle. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have one. Actually, Armandino Vitale of Salumi in Seattle, <laughs> Mario Vitale's father, gave me this paddle when we opened as an opening present. Um, you can also use a fork okay. to form these. And these, what it does is it makes ridges in the gnocchi that help you um, help the gnocchi grab the sauce and make a more flavorful right, dish. Right, nice so uneven surface. So shake hands with your paddle as uh -huh. if you shook hands with your left hand. Okay. And hold it perpendicular to the table. And you want to, with your index finger, just roll the gnocchi down. So does that nice? And let it drop. Kind of like a kind of cross between an yeah. or, orchette and a bur and a butter. Yeah, film. it's got a hole that uh -huh. grabs the sauce, and it's got ridges that grab the Beautiful. sauce. So if you were using your fork, it's basically the same thing. Yep. You just use the tines of the fork, like that. So your fingertip is making the well. Let in it drop. Uh -huh. Great. So what's next? Well, I think our sauce is ready. Let's okay. check it. Remember, I said the oil should separate from the very top. Right. So you can kind of see that right here. Oh yeah. See how it's like the butter is kind of separated out? Is it the butter fat? Yeah. And we're going to take out the onion. It's kind of all wilted now. And just set that aside. Sometimes I nibble on that when I'm <laughs> when I'm cooking. It's the cook's treat. And now we're ready to cook the gnocchi. Okay, Do you want to so hand me the gnocchi from over yeah. there? All perfect uniform size. Oh, I told you, don't let me forget to salt the water. Yep. It's really important to salt pasta water and gnocchi water because there's, no, as you saw, there was no salt in here when right. we made it. And so the only flavoring that, um, the only salt will come from salting the water. Stir that around and you want to taste your water. Make sure it's salty enough. It should taste almost as salty as seawater. Oh, really? It's, I yeah, think that's it. It's salty. 
You don't want to cook too many at once. And you see how I'm, I'm at a boil, but not a crazy boil? Uh-huh. And you're just Terribly. dropping those in individually? Mm-hmm. Try not Probably to Probably need to cook wine. these in batches. And so keep them warm, like in two batches, this size recipe. Uh -huh. And you can keep the, the batch that you've sauced in like your mixing bowl or your, your serving platter in the warming oven while you cook the second batch. And you don't want to add too much to bring the temperature of the water down. Right, so I'm going to stop like right there. Okay. So the, about half of them have risen up. So now we can kind of start counting. So I'm going to like count to 15. Once they float. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little sauce in our bowl here. You want to be really gentle when you're saucing them. Okay, so stand back. And that's just so you don't break them up. Yeah, the they're really delicate. I remember, because these don't have egg in them like right. some do. They're just really, really delicate. So they could go onto a platter or onto individual plate here. I actually think of all the gnocchi sauces, uh -huh. the tomato is the best. It's the most satisfying. It's like sort of soulful. What do we put on top? Little cheese. A little grated king of cheese, <laughs> Parmigiano Reggiano. And there we wow. have it. Lovely. Gnocchi alla Romana. Beautiful. Mm. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.